In the previous video, we went ahead and covered movement lag. Now I want to go ahead and cover rotation lag. Now rotation lag is very similar. So for example, if we disable spring interpolation, we get our normal interpolation speed, you know, that kind of thing. However, we have a little bit more. So in conjunction with rotation, we also have location. So you can kind of, if you're familiar with like uh, modern warfare, as you say, turn left and turn right and stuff like that, the firearm doesn't just rotate off the shoulder. It actually moves around really an unrealistic, like quite a bit. It moves around a lot. And that's where you get the option to tweak here. So same thing. You can read Unreal has documentation on what all these values do. All the same ones are exposed as explained in the movement lag. You just get a little bit more. So what is movement lag? That, or sorry, rotation lag. So that is this. So by default, this is the orientation I have it set. So you basically are set up to lead with the firearm with the exception of up and down. So up and down, the firearm lags behind, but left and right, the firearm leads. So you can see as I turn left, the firearm points left. I turn right, firearm points right. So if I want to, say, switch that around, what you can do is you can tweak the rotation multiplier. So you just got to find which axis is actually, whoops, is actually the one that controls the left and right. So it's not that one or that. So we'll leave that back at its default. And it's not that one, so that's probably up and down. So it would be the last value. So you can see now the firearm lags behind. So instead of, so as I turn left, the firearm kind of points to the right. As I turn right, firearm points more towards the left. And you can see we also get the movement in there. So the others, so this one would be, let's see. Let's make it drastic. Let's bump it up to two. I'll put these back to two. Or uh, default, and then we'll use this. So that's your roll. So you can see the firearm rolls quite a bit as we turn left and right now. And then likewise, we have a up and down multiplier. So the firearm lags behind more and more. So just very simple settings. And likewise, you have the location. So location is the exact same thing. So if I just take a random one, we'll work from right to left. So you can see, all right, so it's affecting the up and down movement. So you can see the fire moves up and down quite a bit now. Likewise, if I do, I believe that would be this guy, forward and back. So Call of Duty, like, this is what I was trying to mimic here because we also have the left and right. So as you can see, like, when I turn left, the fire gets closer. When I turn right, the fire gets farther. We want to get that to what I believe is about Call of Duty style. We can just do negative one, and that'll make it so as I turn left, it gets farther away. As I turn right, it gets closer, and that sort of thing. Likewise, you can do the same exact thing with the left and right. Granted, this is very extreme, but anyways, it's a very simple set of settings. You play around with it for a minute. You'll have an idea of what pretty much everything does. And just like before, you can disable spring interpolation, and you'll use the normal interpolation speed, which is, this is just a very simple to and from. There's no additional spring. It's just to and from. That's really all it is. And then our max. So this is the maximum amount that you can actually, well, rotate. So if I change these to one, you can see barely moves. It just has like a little bit of wiggle room in the center and that's about it. So yeah, uh, there really wasn't much to cover. Pretty much if you watch the movement like video, you understand this. It's very much the same thing. The only addition is you also have the location settings. But anyways, next up we actually have some more interesting stuff, which would be the dead zone. So I'll be covering that.